It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where we'll see a brawl inside the NFC South. It's the Carolina Panthers and the New Orleans Saints, and it's all up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us in downtown New Orleans at the Caesar Superdome. Today we've got an NFC South matchup between the Carolina Panthers and the New Orleans Saints. And a welcome in, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gauden, and Charles, so much gets made about offensive comparisons. Here's a matchup where the defenses may just take center stage. Yeah, we're usually talking about guys scoring touchdowns. How about the guys who prevent them and change the momentum of the game when they take the ball away? I love those ball hawks in the secondary. People after my own heart. Here's the kicker, Zane Gonzalez, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from the Superdome. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. They're led out by the ninth-year starter out of Fresno State, Derek Carr. It's been fun to watch his development through the years, and right now what you see is a very confident quarterback who has a strong sense of self totally understands the offense and knows how to get the ball to his playmakers on the run. They begin on the ground with Kamara. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Working from the gun, it's Carr. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 22 yards there, a first down. If your sympathies lie with the defense, you understand how tough it is for linebackers to run with a guy like this. He's going to slip out of the backfield and then work in the middle of the field. And sometimes those defenders get preoccupied with other people moving, and he finds open space and makes a nice play. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 47. They'll run out of the gun with Kamara. Down to about the 45. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. From the 45 on second down, Carr. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. I think he's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. Oh 
to the sideline. He's got the catch, and he kept the feet in bounds. Well done. That's a third down conversion to 24 yards there. Nice play. And time to give some credit to the big fellas, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right, and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. Into the red zone, it's Carr. That's a Lave bringing in another one. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. On second down, Kamara. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Eighth play of this opening drive coming up. This is third down. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. A stop there on third. They could have held him to three on this opening drive. Now they have to bow their necks on first and goal. And if I'm looking at this from the offense's point of view, that's a big-time pickup right there. And I'd go right at him with another momentum play. I'd go quickly and attack him because right now they probably have their heads down a little bit since they didn't stop him on third down. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Now Carr. Alave over the middle. That was the ninth play of the drive, and they pick up nine yards with it. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And the top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Now we've got third and goal coming up, and couldn't you imagine being in that huddle, partner? You know they're looking at each other saying, we can't come away with just three points after this drive. Yeah, they've covered a lot of ground. They want more than that three. Kamara diving for the end zone, and he'll get there. Touchdown. Finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three down, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Will Lutz on for the point after. And it's good as the Saints have a 7 to nothing lead. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And the capper came from Alvin Kamara on the touchdown run. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. 
And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. They'll go again with Sanders. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you. And sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. Despite only needing one, Dalton to throw. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up fourth. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. They start the drive on the ground, Kamara. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. But the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now Carr. Alave holds it in. His fourth catch already in this first quarter. It's a first down. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, but he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here's Kamara off the draw, and he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. Former first rounder Derek Brown living up to the billing on that stop. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Carr. Drops this off to Kamara out of the backfield. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. 
that might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it can turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. Throwing his car on third down. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. And that'll bring up fourth down on the big sack with a loss of five. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. Blake Gillikin on to punt now on fourth down. That'll be a 44-yard boot, just a yard on the return as he's covered up quickly. And it will be the Panthers' ball, first and 10. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? A first down throw coming for Dalton. And that'll be caught downfield by Chenault. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Brandon, so many times we see the crossing route start as a quick hitter, but in this play, he had time in the pocket and waited for him to clear going across. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. Dalton. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now Dalton. That swung out wide to Sanders. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Another chance for Dalton. Toward the sideline, and he will have the first down as he was able to keep the feet in bounds. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. Now that's absolutely frustrating for a defender. Had a chance to get him on the ground before he got to the sideline, but what great vision and understanding where he is on the field as he headed for the marker and picked up the first down. On first and ten, it's Sanders. And some room to work. On a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Give him 15 there, and the Panthers have a first down. A much different second drive here, Charles. They go three and out the first time. This time, they've been able to sustain something downfield. And that's what often happens. You get the game started. You know, you have to get your footing underneath you. You have to get used to the flow of the game, the speed of the game. And sometimes that first drive is more of a probing drive. It appears they found something here in the second one. Right back to Sanders on first down. And he'll be taken down just shy of the red zone at the 21. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses.
Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Another run with Sanders. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. The first down of this unit had the cut in this time. Much more cuts to the ball. Maybe the first drive was a little bit of a wake-up call. Probably a little bit angry that they had to punt the ball away the first time they had it. Got motivated, got to the sideline, said, okay, let's not let that happen here as we take over again. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Dalton operating in the red zone now. That's caught over the middle by Hurst. And that's good for a gain of six, and that'll bring up second down. That's a staple in this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. This is a second and four, ball at the nine. Andy Dalton. Got a man and he hits him in stride. His first cat, good for nine and a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. Sanders is into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protecting. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. Zane Gonzalez on for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. A 10-play drive that time. And it was Miles Sanders who finished it off with a touchdown run. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The New Orleans offense set to take over. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. They'll start this drive out on the ground until the 22-yard line. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Play action, now it's Carr. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for naught. So back-to-back -back plays, each get nothing, and it brings up third and five now. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Here's Carr. And that one goes incomplete on the drop. 
That's one he definitely normally catches. Fourth down. I'll tell you what, these last couple of drives, much better from a defensive perspective. They gave up a touchdown on the opening drive, and then after forcing a punt on their last possession, it looks like they're going to hit the football back again. Blake Gillikin on to punt here as he'll send this one away. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Another run here with Sanders. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. That was another good run, and he's having an excellent day. And right now, I don't think his team could have any more confidence in handing him the football. New Orleans adding some depth to the secondary. They've got six DBs out there now for third. From the gun, Dalton looks to throw. To the sideline, and oh, that's well done. Able to drag the feet, he's going to have the first down. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Third and four, he did just enough. I mean, just enough to move the chains. And that's all you're looking for, right? Just want to keep the drive moving. You don't need the big play there. Just get to that marker that you described, and he was able to do just that. These two teams all tied after one. Panther football to start quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Play action here with Dalton. Taking a shot here for Marshall. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit them over the top, unsuccessfully. The Panthers on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and seven. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Well, we've seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half, unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. You're going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, 
the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Now, that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Staying on the ground on first with Kamara. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Now Carr. Drives the left side and finds Alave. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Starting to rack up the yardage here in this first half. Five catches now and a first down. But whenever you call and run the hitch route, a lot of times that ball's got to be in the air before the receiver even turns around. That's a result of throwing it so many times in practice. It's really a timing route. Make sure that ball's out of your hands. And oftentimes the receiver turns around and there's the ball. Nice completion there. Now a first down carry, it's Kamara. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. 43 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Again, it's Kamara. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. On first down, Carr. Over the middle, into the hands of Michael Thomas. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. To throw his car. It's caught on the right side at Smith. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the 7. Call it a gain of 6 on the play, and it'll be second down. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. Four yards to go on second down from the seven. Shotgun now for Carr. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, 
that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessfully. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. Carr now to throw. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That's a pretty play there. Got in at the last second, helped force the ball free, and kept them out of the end zone. So on fourth down, on comes Saints kicker Will Lutz from the right hash, and this one just a chippy. The kick by Lutz is good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Following the main field goal, Lutz to kick it away. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The possession of the football goes over to Carolina. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Here's Dalton. And that's incomplete. Had an open man that time. They end up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, Cardinal? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. And this offense on third down today, they've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and five. Out of the gun, it's Dalton. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Marshall. And he is going to have a Panthers first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. And there was absolutely zero pressure on the quarterback on that play. Third down, and he has all the time in the world to eventually find an open receiver for a first down pickup. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. And Dalton to throw. To the right side and complete to Hurst. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. Well, it certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 47. Running right, here's Sanders. And they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. 64 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. 
A good run there off right tackle in an old school NFL football. The right side of the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? And that'll be a free five yards for the offense. Just like a tennis match, that's just an unforced error. Stay alert, don't jump early, and give them free yardage. So a first and five now after the five-yard penalty from the neutral zone infraction. Quick slant here to Smith. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. Was that a design pass, or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting a receiver on the run. First and ten, here's Andy Dalton. Pass incomplete. What would look like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. From the 24, they'll go again on second and ten. Dalton here from the gun. He's got his big tight end. That's Hurst. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. 23 yards on the play. Uh, that's a good effort there after the catch. He looked the ball in and then tried to get it to the goal line. What a nice tackle to get him down. But they're set up well now. First and goal at the one. Looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. Hubbard is going backwards here. Now they come in and drop him all the way back at the four-yard line. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense. Countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. From back at the four, here's second and goal. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. And now can they reverse the trend on third and goal with the last two plays having gone backward? Dalton now to pass. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. That's the former Buckeye Pete Warner getting the sack. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense. So he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Gonzalez out now to try the Panther field goal. From the left hash, a 31-yard attempt. Gonzalez's kick is good, and that will knot us up at 10. They had it first and goal, three attempts, couldn't get it in, so they settle for three. Yeah, the field tends to shrink a little bit the closer you get to the goal line, doesn't it? It doesn't sound right. It sounds a little counterintuitive. But you run out of space to run the deep routes, so they can just sit on the shorter stuff if you're going to throw it. If you want to run it, there's just not as much space. They end up having to take three there.
All level now at 10 apiece as the kick's away. And this fielded right at the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. And now the Saints get set to trot out there. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. They begin on the ground with Kamara. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. From the 22, Carr. He completes it to Alave. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A gain there of 21 yards. Not only was it a double move route, it was a dreaded post corner for any defensive back because you think that he's going all the way to the post in a deep route, and then he breaks it off to the corner. That's hard to flip your hips and get there. Well, he didn't flip them in time. Big play. Kamara up the middle. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. From the 44, Carr. And he'll get this one underneath to Kamara. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. I see an extra defensive back on the field. little surprise here on third and one. Carr going to throw. This is Smith with a grab. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 32-yard line. Defense was expecting run, and they're dealt a pass of over 15 yards. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here's Carr to throw. He gets it left side to Johnson. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred the defense. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Throwing now is Carr. This one taken in by Alave. 
Now another timeout called for by the offense as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Ball sits on the 10, second and five. From the gun, it's Carr. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. Car to throw again. And it's caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It goes as a gain of nine, and it moves the chains. But it certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. Try to pound it in, Kamara. And he is in for the score. Touchdown, New Orleans. Alvin Kamara as the first half is winding down. And the Saints have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to take it into the end zone. Lutz to try to add the PAT. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And the capper came from Alvin Kamara on the touchdown run. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. The Panther offense going to see the ball one more time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Final 17 seconds of the half here as they come up to the line, first and 10. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. Now the Panthers gonna use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. So Dalton now. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. To throw again on second down, Dalton. It's 
incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So it's halftime here in New Orleans with the Saints out in front. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. First, though, time for a check of the next-gen stats from that first half for Carolina. And they weren't able to get a whole lot done throwing the football. That'll likely be a big key if they want to turn things around in the second half. Meanwhile, for the Saints, they were even better throwing the football. Lots of open receivers to choose from, and you can bet that'll continue to be a focus in the second half. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. The Panthers going to get the football first, trailing here as well as we resume play in this second half. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. Out come the Panthers. They'll have it first on offense in the third quarter. But Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Now Dalton with a first and 10. His throw incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Up the middle they go with Sanders. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. And for the Saints here on third down, an extra defensive back on the field. On the draw, here's Sanders. And the tackle made at the 13. He is well short of the first. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave them with a fourth down. Well, they got off the field on third down. An excellent job, an excellent defensive series. We always talk about adjustments, and usually only at halftime. But the best teams adjust series to series. And on that series, they adjusted so well that they got the job done in fine style. Here's Johnny Hacker now, standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. And now a fair catch called for and taken just outside the 40-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. Now Carr. The pass caught by Alave. Now he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. A well-executed 22-yard gain. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. 
A man who's been busy this afternoon. It's Kamara again. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They run it again with Kamara. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. 82 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. So after the run by Kamara, now another first and ten. They'll try and run this one right up the gut. The Etor Gross Matos there to bring him down. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there. It keeps them advancing the ball. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. From the gun, it's a run for Kamara. And despite the fancy footwork we saw, they'll get to him just inside the 15. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Carr going to try and throw on third down. Yeah, he's got it. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down in bounds, toe-tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. Williams is not going to get in here as they push him back to the two-yard line. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. They're right there at the one. No gain, but don't let that stop you. Line back up and keep going at them. If I'm them, I'm thinking about going at it four straight times. Second down and goal. Carr. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. The coverage good, the pressure good, leads to the sack, and it's third and goal now. When you're this close to the goal line, you've got to expect pressure from the defense, so the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. They've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? To throw, it's Carr. That is caught by Alave. Touchdown, New Orleans. Ten yards on the touchdown pass. And the Saints go up by two touchdowns. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you've taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. That's good on the extra point. And a lead now up to 14.
after the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. First and ten for Dalton. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. So following the incompletion, here's second and ten from the 25. Andy Dalton. Over the middle, complete. That's Sanders. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of the play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. Throw left side complete. That's Marshall. And he'll be stopped well short. Only two yards there. Fourth and three. Receivers love having the reputation of being go-to guys on third down. And he was fighting like he really wanted to have that reputation, didn't he? I mean, he came very close to making that a first down. Broke the one tackle, but couldn't spring himself free. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Taking it about the 16. And he'll be out of bounds, just shy of the 30. So a solid punt, but also a nice return there of 14 yards. And out will come the offense as they take over. Chris Alave heads back to the field as his guys get set for another possession. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Oh, well, he's got some breathing room. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 111 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. now on first down completing it to the right side Johnson and they'll get this down to the 42 yard line nice rhythm throw there on first down he located his tight end made it a nice easy pitch and catch hoping he can break a tackle or two wasn't able to do that there but still good yardage Looking to throw again on second down. Carr, and his throw is incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. Now Carr. They'll set up the screen now to Kamara. And he won't get to the marker. He's a yard short. A pickup of three, it leaves him with fourth and one. 
Well, sometimes it's hard to take your eyes off this guy at the linebacker position. He can really cover some ground, and he did there to make that play. Yeah, and this was just really well done on third down because he doesn't have a lot of time to analyze things. He's got to make a snap decision and go. And his decision there, right on. He rocketed in and made the play. And his top speed, as computed by Next Gen Stats, not bad. He was pushing 20 miles an hour. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. And that will extend their lead even further. And right now, Charles, this is about building that lead little by little, and they're able to do just that. And it gets them past the key number of 16, so this is now a three-score lead. Not time to exhale just yet, but that might prove to be an important three points before things are said and done. the main field goal lots to kick it away and this will not be returned it's a touchback and they'll begin at the 25 the Panthers about ready to take over I kind of feel like they've reached a do or die point in this game Charles if they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. They start on the ground here at Sanders, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Passing. It's Dalton. Left side here to Sanders. Even with the nice move, can't go very far. Stop short of the 30. Give him three on the screen. He couldn't break free, and it's third down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with a little gain. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, Dalton looks to throw. And he'll just get rid of it. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Fielded at about the 28. Call it an even 40-yard punt. 7-0 on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The New Orleans offense set to take over. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it. And he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. Tackle was made by Jolie Booneyway. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. From the 39, Carr. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. 
throwing his car on third down. He finds his man, Johnson. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. On first down, Carr. Thomas is good. And it's out. He put it on the carpet. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And his crew will take over at their own 45-yard line. Well, number one on the list of things not to do when you're up three scores in the third, that right there, give the football away. I love when you speak like that. You know how doctors talk about taking the Hippocratic Oath, first do no harm? You just did the football Craddock win right there. Don't give the ball away when you have a lead that you can lock this game down with. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at the 45. All right, let's see what Dalton can do after the fumble recovery. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. You always worry about those smaller receivers running through that gnarly patch of land in the middle of the field. But he did a really nice job there holding on to the football and protected himself as best he could while completing the play. Dalton, first and ten. And a quick throw there going to be batted away at incomplete. At this point in the game and the situation they're in, partner, these incompletions that we're seeing, they need to turn into positive snaps and soon. Glad to be in the great city of New Orleans, rolling along here in the third quarter, second and ten. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. It's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting running back finishes the game with averages of five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Throwing. Dalton. And that will be incomplete. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. So now on comes the field goal unit. And wow, this is no ordinary try here. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And that is no good. I hit it well from distance, but he couldn't work it back in. And the deficit will stay at three scores. Yeah, 55 yards is anything but a gimme. you got to really concentrate on your leg swing and proper technique. This time, though, he's unable to convert. Set to take over once again. Out comes the Saints offense. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 45. Carr's throw caught by Alave. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. Now they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. 
They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. They'll pound it up the middle with Camaro. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Coming left is Camara. Oh, an absolutely filthy juke. He's got some space now. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Ten yards, good for his Saints first down. And third quarter here, you've got the lead. This is where that strong run game can really benefit you. Stayed in bounds there, kept the clock going. I like all the points you just made there. And if you throw the football and it's incomplete, now you've stopped the clock and you've helped out the guys on the other side of the ball. So keep it in the hands of those runners. Keep moving it. Keep grinding the clock. Car now on first down. It's caught, Smith, and he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here live in New Orleans. It's the Saints. They'll be looking to expand their lead here. They've got the football as we start the fourth. Now a second down and six. Carr going to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Carr. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. Juwan Jackson, an 18-yard touchdown grab. As his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. It seemed like they were so focused elsewhere they forgot about the tight end spot and he's the one that burns in there to make this a three-score game here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. They can make it a little bit of defensive fatigue from those guys on that side of the ball because they've been spending their time trying to stop them from all angles. This time the tight end gets them. Lotso looked to add the extra point. And the lead is now 24. That time a six-play drive. And it all culminates in a Saints touchdown. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. First down throw coming for Dalton. Sideline throw, it's complete. 
And a nice job there of keeping the toes in bounds. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that will bring up second down. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right? Whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs. In this case, the feet doing a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Taking a shot here for Marshall. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. And again, Andy Dalton to throw. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. The improv act there, good for nine, and now they'll be looking at a third and short, third and one. I like how he hung in there and went through his progressions, but eventually his internal clock went off and told him it was time to make a run for it. And he ends up sliding down with a solid gain. Despite only needing one, Dalton to throw. Uh, he's got Hurst, his tight end. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 42. It's an 11-yard pickup. Thought they'd run it on third and one. Not the case. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit is going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches... You're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. So eight yards on the completion there, and that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. Dalton. For Marshall, that's complete. And the Panthers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defensive side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Dalton now to pass. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. LaVisca Chenault, a five-yard touchdown. And the Panthers are able to cut into that deficit. He's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, CD. And well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, 
It actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence because he certainly saw something he could exploit in the defense. He made sure to let his quarterback know, just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him, and he delivered and made it a three-score game. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. Alvin Kamara and the Saints set to start their next drive. He's already hit pay dirt twice. He's up over 100 yards. He is feeling good. And he's just zipping along today. Everything coming together for him. It's that type of a day that you see a back. Just kind of have a grin on his face every time his number is called. Because he doesn't feel like there are going to be any lost yardage plays. Nothing but big time positive runs. Making the sideline grin as well. They start the drive on the ground. Kamara. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A Saints first down there on a gain of 11. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Now a first down carry, it's Kamara. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. Two yards the loss, second and 12. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long. He's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger, and he's just whacking it. These guys, they've got it going today. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and 11. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. We're backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. On third down, here's Kamara. And some room to run now. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That burst good for 20 and a first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Again, it's Kamara. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to, says body language is important and now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips they're bent over hands on their knees and the offensive guys are just saying let's just keep running it out and we've got them now and he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23 yard line 
10 yards, good for his Saints first down. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Again, this is Kamara. And a short gain here down to the 22. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. They're in a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. Here's Carr. He'll get this one underneath to Kamara. And he is going to have a Saints first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Now Carr. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. They're still throwing the football here. Now obviously the incompletion stops the clock. That's a bad thing. Feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and try and stop any type of a running play. Short little passes may work in exchange of running plays, keep the clock moving, keep them moving. I guess you're right. If they can get some first downs, just as good as running the football. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. This offense has converted two third downs on this drive already. This is third and four. From the gun, it's Carr. This is caught. Touchdown! Third touchdown pass now for Derek Carr. As these guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. See, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside. Who gets lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. Lutz to try to add the PAT. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And it's polished off through the air with a touchdown to Alvin Kamara. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Carolina offense about ready to go. 
As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, and they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive, so we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? Taking a shot here for Marshall. And his throw is going to be incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Second and ten. Dalton wants more. And Sanders has got it complete. And he'll be just shy of the 20 at the 19 as he goes out of bounds. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Well, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Third down, a shot here for Dalton. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Marshall. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I think it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. And it looks like this will be the last play before the two-minute warning. And it'll be Dalton again. Going back to Marshall. He's got him again. And he'll be brought down with the first down after a gain of about 11 as that takes us to the two-minute warning. Another catch for him there. This one good for 11. First down. Here's Dalton. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch. Inbounds. Keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. It's a second down run with Sanders. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. First and ten for Dalton. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. Call it a gain of three on the play, and it'll be second down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Dalton throw there, taken in by Smith. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. So Dalton now, taking a shot here for Marshall. Well, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything.
Big fourth down here. It's Dalton. He's going to take another shot here. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And they've got to be feeling very comfortable and confident here with this lead in the football here in the fourth quarter, Charles. And I don't think that they need to score again, but it seems like this offense is just getting better as the game goes on. They've scored on their last two drives. Certainly feels like a chance for them to continue to have some fun out there, doesn't it? Game's already decided, as you noted. So they can continue to play loose, break out some other concepts, maybe run a few trick plays, get other people involved. Heck, even go deep on one of these first snaps just because they can. A gain of three, second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now a first carry for their fullback. And he'll get across midfield and into Carolina territory. So this one, a victory here for New Orleans. And when you break it down, well, this was just a thoroughly dominating performance. And I truly thought that we'd have a tight game coming into this. I think you felt the same way yeah. based on our conversation after the production meeting. But obviously not the case. And how about just how it broke open? You know, you just all of a sudden, whoosh, there it is. This thing is pretty much done. And the crowd stayed with it to celebrate because they're like, Let's enjoy watching our team play this well. This is fun.